But um, when you were asked once about why you were not a part of the gay community growing up, you answered, because it was about conformity and narcissism. Well, I felt the same way, and I feel the same way now. I don't think it's gotten any better. In fact, it's gotten even, it's been conforming into the point of invisibility. What has changed in terms of, again, not a, I'm, you're right, generalizations, but in ter- you must hang out with a fair amount of young men and men in general who are gay friends. Yeah. Uh, do you feel that there's been something lost or something gained in a way by the the notion of bringing gay life and gay people into a kind of place where it is uh, mundane, not so specialized, not so specific? We're talking about with Matt Tiernauer, uh Someone said, I think it was Tennessee Williams who said, the fun of gay life died after Stonewall. That there was something about the secret life of uh, the world of gays that once it became politicized, it just wasn't fun anymore. And that the notion of politicizing anything is kind of like, what happens to the maverick gay artists in a way? I, everybody I know is an artist or a weirdo and they're not, they have no, they don't even, they, I be, months in a while they go dancing. That's it. I mean, I don't, so I don't know. I mean, it seems to me it hasn't changed at all. And I know a lot of young gay guys who are friends of mine who like are totally happy with the gay scene and go like to go out and music's good and they can dance and it, I don't yeah I don't, no I think, I don't think it's I, different and I and I and I think it's true I mean in terms of like Sarah Silverman saying recently that the term gay is going to go the way of the term colored that it's just being it's just it, it's just being made into something that's part overall part of society but do you believe in uh, in conventional notions? Of masculinity because a lot of stuff's going on right now in terms of you know genderless children that there is no such thing as boy or wow. girl right. any thoughts on that oh i i find it, I, I, li- I like experimentation so i find it fascinating i'm like yeah sure great awesome i don't know it's, i like i like i like reinvention and confusion and all that stuff so i find it super i'm totally into it but I don't have to deal with it on a practical level, so it's really easy for me to like sit back and think about it but that way. But yeah, I find it all really interesting. 